Hey guys, it's me Nisha. I'm coming to you with a quick video just to give you an update on where I've been and why you haven't gotten any videos from me in the past few weeks. Um, the last video that you got from me was the, sorry, was the cheap but cute beauty supplies of hair, the Ada hair, and that's actually this hair. I made a wig out of it and you guys know that I sew my wig down. I keep them on for a while. Um, the past couple weeks I've been having a, a sickle cell flare. You guys, I said in one of my other videos that I have sickle cell. Um, so the sickle cell has been flaring up. I call it the sickle cell. I don't call it my sickle cell because it is not mine. And I'm believing God for my total healing from this. Um, so yeah, I've been having a flare up. So I've been down for the past two weeks. As you can see now, I'm laid up on the couch. Like, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, right now I'm laid up on the couch, not doing too good. Um, I've been down for two weeks. Actually, today is like one of the good days. I have had a lot more energy today. I haven't taken any pain medicine today, which I'm kind of starting to regret because I'm starting to feel um, some pain in my legs, a lot of pain actually. So after I make this video, I'm probably going to take the pain pain medicine. The reason I didn't want to take it is because I'm taking some stronger medicine now and it completely puts me out. Regardless if I'm tired or not, it puts me out. But the thing is, either I get put out like that or I'm up and I'm in pain. So I take the pain as long as I can and then I take the medicine. Um, I went to the doctor two weeks ago and I had to get IV fluids and got a B12 shot which hurt like heck but did not help me whatsoever, did not give me any type of energy. I didn't get any better this week so I went back. And last week when I went to the doctor, my white blood count was down. And anybody who knows anything about sickle cell knows that when your white blood count is up, that means that you're in a sickle cell crisis. My white blood count was down. But with sickle cell, you don't have to be in a sickle cell crisis to have pain. You can have pain every single day. So I had the pain. I went home. My doctor gave me stronger pain medication. Then a week later, I wasn't better. So I went back and got more IV fluids for another four hours. And then got some medicine to help with my stomach because um, the medicine was messing up my stomach. Um, and when I, they checked my blood, my white blood count was up a lot higher. So right now I'm basically in a, in a sickle cell crisis. Um, so I'm actually thankful because I'm not in the hospital. The last time my, my white blood count was up like this, I was in the hospital. So I'm thankful that the pain isn't that unbearable that I can stay at home in the comfort of my own home. I've been off schedule, guys. I haven't been doing anything with the business, much with the kids or anything, besides homework when I can, or I'm not out from the medicine. I'm so thankful for my husband because he has been doing everything. I mean, he's been taking care of the business for me. He's been taking care of the house, the kids, dinner. And like he says, when I'm down, he may not be able to cook dinner, but he can go and get it. So he's out now getting us dinner, and I'm thankful for that. Um... I am getting better, so I will be back doing videos soon. I just want to let you guys know where I was so that you can keep me in your prayers and be thanking God in advance for my healing because I am believing him for it. It's in his word, so I I believe him 100% on it. Um, I miss you guys. I'll talk to you later, and you'll be seeing more videos from me soon. Bye, guys.